Hello, I am Rohini Thumre. In this video, I will be going to explain defect or bug life cycle from software testing. Defect life cycle, also known as bug life cycle, is the journey of a defect cycle which a defect goes through during its lifetime. The purpose of defect life cycle is to easily coordinate and communicate current status of defect which changes to various assignees and make a defect fixing process systematic and efficient. Defect or bug status in defect life cycle is the present state from which the defect or a bug is currently undergoing. It varies from organization to organization and also from project to project as it is governed by the software testing process and also depends upon the tools that are used for software testing. The diagram shows all the possible states of defect life cycle. Now let us have the detailed explanation of each phase of defect life cycle. When a new defect is logged and posted for the first time, it is assigned a status as a new. Once the bug is posted by the tester, the lead of the tester approves the bug and assign the bug to the development team. Once the defect assigned to the development team, the status of bug changed to assigned. The developer starts analyzing and works on the defect fix. At this stage, the bug is in open state. Now, when the bug is in open state, if the developer feels that the defect is not genuine, it is a not valid defect, then it changes the defect status to reject. If bug is present in the software, but if it is not have a prime priority and if it is expected to get fixed in the next release, then the status of defect assigned to deferred state. Now, once the bug is available in software, developer starts fixing the code. They are going to start analyzing and works on the defect fix. In that phase, the bug is in open state. When a developer makes a necessary code change and verifies the changes, he or she can make bug status as a fixed. Once the defect is fixed, the developer gives a particular code for retesting the code to the tester. Tester does the retesting of the code at this stage to check whether the defect is fixed by the developer or not. If there is no bug detected in the software, then the bug is fixed and the status assigned is verified. If the bug is no longer exist in the code, then tester assign the status of defect as a closed. But if when tester retests the code and if bug is detected in the software, then the developer tester changes the status to reopened. Once again, the bug goes through the life cycle. Thank you. Thank you for patience listening.